You know, there are so many interesting things to me in life, amazing things, and some uh, more amazing than others. But I think maybe at the top of amazing or amazement is the fact that human beings can be recreated in the image of the person that they hate or people that they hate. That failing parents, meaning parents with anger, a par parents with anger are failing parents, meaning that failing parents, one example, Failing parents re recreate children in their image. You can watch an innocent child being born into this great earth, and by the time that child is 18 years old, that child, boy or girl, is not themselves. Uh, they are born into the world with their own identity, physically looking like the parent, of course, but the true person, the nature of the person has been recreated by the time they're 18 years old in the image of their parent or parents or parent. They no longer, they no longer remember who they are uh, were. No longer. They are now someone else. That is mind-blowing to me. That is, like, unbelievable. And the reason that it happens is because the parents or parent um, is no longer connected with the true source of life, one that, one that allows you to keep your own identity. And to me, that is mind-blowing. And then for the rest of your life, from birth until 18, you're created or recreated in the image of your parents, no longer yourself. And for the rest of your life, you either spend the rest of your life trying to overcome it or overcoming it or the rest of your life suffering as a result of it. And then you die. That is mind-blowing to me. Another example of becoming what you hate, taking on the identity of what you hate or who you hate. Black Americans, not all but most, hate white Americans. No legitimate reason at all, none, zero, zilch. But they hate because there's never time to be angry. There's never time to hate. But they hate white Americans. And today in America, White America, uh, black Americans have forgotten that morality, a relationship with God, intellect, or int yeah, intellect is greater than the intellect of the world. And so now they are bent bending over backwards to make sure that their children go to the best college, get the quote-unquote best education, so they can get the best jobs in America because they are emulating white Americans. And as a result of that, they are stressing their children out. Uh, uh, a lot of them are ending up on drugs and alcohol and antidepressant medications, medications and things like that. And when I was growing up, Education was in, important, but not number one. Number one was a relationship with parents and God. It was. It really was. They, they, they had black schools and black colleges and universities around, but morality was number one, and as a result, blacks were themselves. But now they think um, worldly knowledge is greater than Spiritual knowledge or understanding is mind-blowing. They have become what they hate. And the reason for that is because we are a spirit 
created in the image of God, who created it, by the way. And if that spirit is not connected to the source who cre that created it, it, uh, it, um, it attaches itself to another source and then recreate it in that image, in the image of the other source, because you got to live by one source or another. We live by faith. We, whatever we believe is what we become. It's mind-blowing. It, it, and I'm looking at this happen to people I know, and it's so weird. I know children who were born, I, I knew them when they were born, and now they're getting older and older and older, and they're no longer themselves. And it's mind-blowing to see it. They're losing themselves. They're taking on the image of their parents in personality, in attitudes, in everything, fears, doubts, insecurities, and they were not born that way. I don't care what that lady says that made the song, I was born that way. What's her name, James? Yeah, Lady Gaga. You're not born that way. You recreate it in that image after you enter into the world because the parents are not connected to, to the true source. They have been separated because of anger. And their father is Satan. And they don't know it. They just don't know. They really don't know. And even for some who do know, but have not been able to overcome the anger, still are recreating the children in their image, which is the image of Satan. And it's mind-blowing to me to see that. Absolutely mind-blowing. It is so interesting to me, I can hardly stand it.